As college students head back to school, some are getting a real-life lesson in economics. The demand for student loans and financial aid has dramatically increased over the past year, but the amount of available money hasn't. KXLY4's Annie Bishop talked to one student about the creative way he's getting his degree. With just one semester left to graduate here at Gonzaga and short about $9,000 for tuition, senior Von Borges got creative. He's now taking his classes at two different schools. Von Jason Borges has big plans when he graduates from Gonzaga this winter. I kind of want to go into archaeology a little bit, maybe go on a few digs after I get my degree and do graduate work in that. Before he leaves campus, however, he needs to finish 16 credits. At Gonzaga, I am taking my senior thesis class, first of all, um, and then I'm also taking um, classical mythology. He's taking the rest of his classes at Spokane Falls Community College. That's uh, cultural anthropology and the history of the modern Middle East. Borges is a history and political science major, but as the demand for financial aid, scholarships, and loans surpassed the amount of money available, he's also a master problem solver. Well, hey, you have to be, you know, <laughs> so you kind of pick it up as a skill over time in college. <laughs> they kind of force you to. <laughs> Borges received 9,000 fewer dollars this semester in aid than in the past four years. For a college student like me, I mean, I don't have any real support from the outside. I'm pretty much been I'm supporting myself through college working and getting scholarships and whatnot. So for me, for them to say I need $9,000 so I can finish the last 10 credits of my degree, it's kind of shocking. <laughs> so Borges signed up for a few transferable classes at the falls for a thousand bucks. Borges says a few of his friends have done the same. Yeah, this is definitely a situation that's been going on for a little while and that affects a lot of people. So, I mean, I'm just really glad that I get the opportunity now to actually say something about it. The state says financial aid programs were stretched to the max this year. The state says the number of students who qualified for aid and didn't receive it nearly tripled this year from 5,000 students last year to nearly 15,000 students this year. At Gonzaga, Annie Bishop, KXLY 4 HD News.